Well, with the anime Bleach ending just over a week ago, I thought I would review it now. Bleach is the 366 episode, 16 season anime that started back in 2004. The story follows Ichigo, a 15 year old boy with the gift, or curse as he thinks of it, of seeing ghosts. One night he meets Rukia, a soul reaper who hunts hollows. Hollows are lost souls that have gone berserk. It's her job to purify them. Ichigo's family is in danger and Rukia is badly injured and can't fight. So he makes a contract with her to become a substitute soul reaper and fight in her place. Ichigo's power is off the charts and can't be controlled. Well, at first. Anyways, eventually other soul reapers come looking for Rukia and find out that she transferred her powers into a human, which is against the law. So they take her back to Soul Society to be executed. Ichigo and friends follow after her to save her, but they get caught up in a much deeper scheme that's going to going on behind the scenes of Soul Society. So yeah, in the spotlight we have Ichigo! The hero who doesn't want to be a hero. He will fight for his friends and what's right, but would rather live a normal life than anything else. He's got a little sister, a whack job father, and his mother passed away when he was a little kid. He's always got this kind of depressed look going on, but overall good character. Then we have Rukia, a soul reaper who is an awful artist, and always seems to have a very short temper. I personally wasn't really a big fan of Rukia. On Ichigo's friend list, we have Orihime, the ditzy redhead with defensive and healing magic. You can tell she's got feelings for Ichigo right off the bat, and honestly, I was hoping for them to hook up at some point. Next on the list is Chad, the quiet teddy bear. Big as an ox, kind as a bunny, his power is... I don't really know how to describe it. His arm goes all fighter jet and he punches stuff. Yep. And then the last friend, more of a rival really, is Ishta. He is a Quincy. Quincy are kind of like soul reapers where they fight hollows, but soul reapers and Quincy's are enemies. So he's kind of got this, I'm too good for all of you attitude, but he's very strong. Obviously with 16 seasons, there is a ton of other characters, like all of the captains, but I don't have to have the time to go through all of them. The animation for the series, I felt, is excellent, clear, well-drawn, vivid colors, easy to follow, unique-looking characters. The fights are always fun to watch, and you could get really into it. Great music, since it was one of the big three, they got some really great artists to do the music for them. And like any other series, when a fight broke up out or a really epic moment came in, they had the perfect music to really get your blood pumping. So yeah, Bleach, I have to say, I had some problems with it. It started off amazing! The first three seasons, I was hooked and couldn't wait for more. But yeah, then from seasons 4 to 14, it was all downhill for me. Filler after filler after filler, and empty plot after empty plot. But then it almost redeemed itself with the 15th season, where they got back to the main plot and had the final epic battle! Had it have ended there... Fantastic series, but no, they wanted to milk whatever they could get from it and make another season afterwards, which was just pretty much terrible. So yeah, start off great, then jump off a cliff after the third season. The manga is still ongoing, and it's got one more arc left, and yes, I'm reading that as well, but I don't really have much hope for it. Overall, sadly, I'm going to have to give Bleach a 6 out of 10, and that's hard six. Yes, the fights are great, but when you can't keep to a plot and just pull a Naruto for five years, yeah, that's gonna lower your score. Lots of potential, but not as good with the follow-through. Thanks everyone for watching. Definitely go check out Bleach, though. At least the first three seasons, and if you want to keep watching after that, all the best to ya. <laughs> Bye!